Well, a new study may help explain why some people lose more weight than others when taking popular new weight loss drugs. The research suggests something in our genes is making us more or less responsive to GLP-1 medications. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain what they found and how it could ultimately help people trying to lose weight. Doc. Well, Kimberly and Damon, researchers identified a gene that seems to impact our desire for sugary or sweet foods. Now, a study of patients with diabetes found those with variations in this gene actually reported eating more dessert than other people. So, researchers wanted to see if variations in this gene could also impact how effective GLP-1 medications are at helping people lose weight. New weight loss medications have been a game changer for many people, but some lose significantly less than others. Everyone has this gene, but the variation within that gene may affect how well the gene does its job. And so in this case, individuals that have variation in this gene are more likely to experience uh, greater weight loss on a GLP-1 medication. Dr. Daniel Rotroff led the research at the Cleveland Clinic. The scientists created a scoring system based on variations in the gene, which is known as neurobechin. Within the gene, there are different locations that are on the gene, and they may vary in their sequence. And depending on those variations, those may confer a change in the function of that gene. Their findings were published in the journal Diabetes, Obesity, and Metabolism. The gene seems to affect how the medications signal in the areas of the brain that control hunger and fullness. They found those who had a responsive genetic score were up to 82% more likely to achieve significant weight loss with a GLP-1 medication. Meanwhile, those with a non-responsive genetic score were up to 50% more likely to not lose weight. It was surprising. I think it's uh, surprising because uh, it really highlights the link between our food preference and how we feel satiety and then how this drug helps regulate those for helping people promote weight loss. So what does all of this mean for the general public? With some additional work and uh, future studies, maybe taking this score that we developed with this gene, combining it with other lifestyle factors, other personal factors, maybe other aspects of your genetics, we can start to uh, tailor the intervention that we use for patients with obesity to make sure that the treatment that they receive is most likely to work for them. Now, Dr. Rotroff says as part of their ongoing research, they plan to look into other genes that could also be playing a role with weight loss and GLP-1s. It's an important piece of the puzzle as these medications basically continue to be developed and improved. Mm -hmm. So, Doc, how would someone know if they have a variation in these genes? Well, right now, unless you're part of these research studies, you're not going to know. But it's not hard to imagine that there could someday be a simple genetic test that your doctor would run before you start on one of these GLP-1s to see if you're likely to lose a lot of weight or not. This is just another potential step in the personalized medicine where we learn how to better tailor treatments specifically for a patient right down to their DNA. And this is going to probably extend well past GLP-1s. Yeah. yeah, continue to learn and evolve. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, thank you. Sure. Yeah.